Today's video is just a super quick and easy tip to help you to get better audio using an invisible microphone. If you are shooting any kind of talking head video or interview with an external microphone, especially in a noisy environment, then this simple trick will really help you to get better audio on location and then you can quickly and easily hide the microphone in post. Now, you could use a lavalier microphone, but sometimes the sound is pretty bassy, and if you have a really nice shotgun microphone that you'd like to use, or an on-camera microphone like this Rode VideoMic Pro, then you'll want to get it as close to the audio source as possible to make it sound really good. So that's why I have the microphone in the frame like this. Let's talk about how to shoot your footage to make this work. You'll want to keep the camera on a tripod, because this trick doesn't work if the camera moves and you need to make sure that your lighting stays consistent. More on that in a bit. I've shot this entire tutorial with the microphone in the frame and now I need what is called a clean plate, which is basically a shot without the microphone in the frame. Before I move it, I just need to say that I have to sit back down in this chair because I have face auto tracking turned on. If I'm in the chair, the focus will be the same, which is really important for the clean plate. So with that said, let's move this microphone. Now we'll jump into Final Cut Pro to make this microphone disappear. You can use pretty much any editing software to do this because the method I'm going to show you is the same, but I'm going to be using Final Cut Pro. When I shoot talking head videos or interviews, I always create multicam clips because it's a quick way to sync the audio to my videos. If you're not familiar with working with multicam clips in Final Cut Pro, I have a tutorial on that which I'll link to down below. Before I create the multicam, since I am going to be making this microphone invisible, I want to first create a compound clip. I'll select my video file and hit Alt G to create a compound clip. With the compound clip and my audio selected, I'll right click and create a new multicam clip. When that's done, I can drop it onto my timeline and double click to open the multicam. Then I'll double click on my compound clip to open that up. If I scrub through to the end where I moved the microphone out of the frame and sat back down, this is my clean plate. I'll hold down Alt and drag the clip up to make a copy. I'll drop the audio level on this top clip and I can trim the start of the clip to my playhead by using the shortcut Alt and the square bracket. Next, I'll hit Shift H to create a hold frame and I can extend the duration of the hold frame by just dragging it out like this. I'll hit Shift Z to zoom all the way out and I can drag this hold frame to the beginning of my talking head clip. I'll extend the hold frame duration past the end of the clip and then I'll trim to the end of the clip using the shortcut Alt and the square bracket. Now my hold frame covers the entire clip. I'll drop the opacity to 50% so that I can see the clip underneath and I'll add my draw mask effect. Before I start drawing my mask, I'll quickly zoom out to 25% so that I can see around the edges of the frame. I'll draw a mask around the microphone like this and then I can set the opacity back to 100%. To make sure that my mask lines can't be seen, I'll bump up the mask feather to somewhere around there and just like that, the microphone is invisible. Just remember that you don't want to have any movement in the background behind the microphone. And you don't want to wave your hand or do something in front of the microphone because that will obviously be hidden by the clean plate. I mentioned earlier that you need to keep the lighting consistent and that's because if your lighting changes between the main part of your clip and your clean plate, you'll notice the difference when you try to hide the microphone. I hope you found this tip helpful. If you did, I'd really appreciate you hitting that like button. It's super helpful when you do. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to turn on notifications, and I'll catch you in the next one.